presentation of the NBA. Welcome sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Well, Nikola Jokic has transformed his conditioning. He said, when I first started playing back in Serbia, I couldn't do a push-up. And when I came here, I was probably the worst conditioned player in the league. I lost a lot of weight, and I feel much better. To be honest, I don't run faster, but I can play a lot longer. That's what matters. Brian? Yeah, it helps for sure. Thanks, Allie. Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Townsend Gobert, the towering big man at the four and the five. Anthony Edwards out there with Jaden McDaniels. And it's Anderson in at the small forward. And for Denver. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. And it's Jokic in it to five, roaming.
Anderson against Murray. McDaniels from long range. He buries it from three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Edwards against Murray. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Inside, Jokic finds Murray. Over McDaniels. Three straight misses to begin the game. Not the start they were hoping for. Gobert passes to Towns. Misses the three. For Denver, they've gone 0 for 3 for the floor to begin this one. Gordon, no luck on that one. And some solid defense from Towns. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. The three is up. Edwards can't hit. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Gordon. We've seen Murray raise his game. Part of it is an increase in toughness. The ability to score when it's not simple. Now here's Towns. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Murray. Pass to Gordon. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. So much NBA talent like Jamal Murray out of Canada. Specifically the province of Ontario. Yeah, very true. And I think that's because guys like Murray, born in the late 90s, they grew up with the NBA in Toronto. And Jamal and others have been inspired by the Raptors. Now here's Jokic. A steady offensive force, averaging around 32 and a half a game. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Grant. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2000-1500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. And he sinks the second. Drafted 41st overall in the 2014 NBA Draft, Jokic has turned a lot of heads. The versatility he has is unreal. Now here's Gobert. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. To the middle. It's blocked by Gobert. Towns against Gordon. Puts it up from 12. It's deflected. Edwards against Murray. Out to Gordon. Back to Murray. The three ball. Caldwell Pope shot is off. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Gobert passes to Edwards. Back to Gobert. Sinks that one from the post. Timeout, timeout. Well, unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. Now a timeout called by Denver. Even on the years he's not winning Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert finds a way to finish in the top three. This is one of the most consistent elite defenders in the game. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Jokic. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. And I don't think we've really seen many seven-footers who can pass like Jokic. So calm and easy with the ball and almost always makes the right decision. 
Now here's Gobert. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Endorse with Gobert, it still feels like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. And B.A., at this point, I find that inexcusable. You just watch the game and understand the metrics to see the massive impact that Rudy Gobert has on winning. It is not only on the defensive end, either. Falls for Gobert. Well, a big trade over the summer, bringing Rudy Gobert to the Wolves. And it's a bit of a fresh start for Gobert, a main star of this team that is loaded with talent but needed that defensive anchor. And so he hits both. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. I'll tell you, he is becoming a very dependable passer. I love how Aaron Gordon puts the team first above anything else. Now here's Edwards. He's a tough guy to check, averaging almost 28 points a game. And it's in there. Edwards has got his second basket of the night. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. Murray passes to Jokic. Now here's Gordon, covered by Towns. The jump hook, and Gordon with the basket on the assist by Jokic. I don't think there's any fear when it comes to shooting over the defense. Aaron Gordon's athleticism and release point, he cannot be contained. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Murray passes to Jokic. Back to Murray. Gordon outside. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Edwards against Murray. Unable to get that one. And it's Denver the other way. They're coming off that loss against Portland. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Gobert. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. From deep. Minnesota with a rebound. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They just couldn't get into a rhythm offensively. They didn't shoot it well and also didn't get the best of looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. Now, here's Gordon. He's coming off a 13-point game against Portland. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. And it's Jokic missing. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. That's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally they have multiple ball handlers on the floor, guys who can make quick decisions. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Last time they met in Minneapolis. 
<laughs> they really scrapped out a win last time. Foul trouble on the other side helped them immensely. Oh, no doubt. Playing aggressively, forcing the action, that often works in your favor, and it did the last time around. Now here's McDaniels, tightly guarded. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Oh, that's a strong finish, and Carl Anthony Towns will go to the line, try to put the cherry on top. And Towns' three-pointer is elite, but some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. What I like about the Minnesota Timberwolves, to me, they took a step forward last season. Finishing their highest conference finish since 2004, made it all the way up to the seventh spot in a very competitive West. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. And here's Porter outside. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. And looking at the progress Minnesota has made, many think the best is yet to come, Doris. Well, they've made smart draft acquisitions, beginning with young Mr. Anthony Edwards, a big-time talent. And obviously, you've got to grow that young talent. That's exactly how you build a bright future for your team. Here's Caldwell Pope. And a miss there on the triple. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Here's Murray. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by one. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside, really anywhere on the court. Outside McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Good D by Murray. Denver has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. And here's Porter outside. He can't get it to go. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. And Gordon with the big finish. Just put the pass in his vicinity, and Aaron Gordon will take care of the rest. Outside McDaniels. And play stops. So a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Reeds checked in for Gobert. Denver in the lead. with it. 20 points for him last game against Portland. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Counted from distance. Timeout, timeout. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Timeout called the Timberwolves. And Aaron Gordon Grant growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley. San Jose. Yeah, Aaron using that to his advantage involved with some apps. Now we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. Pass to Anderson. Three-pointer. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds in the game. An open look for Porter. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Now here's McDaniels. Releases. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. 
McDaniel's gone two of four shooting. Edwards against Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's Denver with another. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Outside, Anderson. Murray against Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Denver grabs the miss. Caldwell Pope's got four rebounds now to the paint. Gordon, that one falls. And now it's a 10-point nugget lead. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Anderson passes to McDaniels. Pure from three-point range. McDaniels got eight. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Oh, and Reed with a block. Pass to Towns. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And it's now only a five-point nugget lead. Oh, big-time athletic play by Cat right there. Brushes off the contact, gets to his finish. Nicely done. Murray passes to Gordon. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. No good with the triple. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Tells. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Aaron Gordon. Well, Carl Anthony Towns has always had a burden on his shoulders offensively, and he has the skill set to be able to handle it gracefully. First one falls for him. Well, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body, trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. Green's checked in for the Nuggets. And so Towns nails them both. Well, you know the Timberwolves are a young squad, Doris. When will it be their time, you think? I think, B.A., when you have a talent that is the anchor of your organization, which they have in Carl Anthony Towns, Pat is one of the most talented big men, most polished offensive players that we've seen in the NBA. Couple him with Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert, and I think you now have to start looking to be a consistent winner. I am anxious to see what this team does this year. Here's McDaniels. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. And Carl Anthony Towns hits from deep. Towns has got 12 points. Carl Anthony Towns embraces the responsibility of being the primary scorer offensively. And boy, if he's in rhythm, it's a nightmare for the defense. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Michael Porter. He's been the guy making things happen for the Nuggets. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. If you're just joining us we played through one quarter in this one all right guys what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Nuggets well you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far their passing has been simply outstanding the other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc here's Edwards 
He's coming off a 25-point game against Utah. And not just scoring. He was a terror defensively. Active hands disrupting offensive sets time and again. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Jaden McDaniels out there with Anthony Edwards. And it's Anderson in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Porter. We saw him with 19 his last time out. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Porter. Jokic has got 10. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Anderson can't get it to go. Denver in the lead. Here's Porter. The jumper from the wing off target. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's McDaniels. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Well, you know it takes courage to draw charges. Guys get trucked all the time, and they still call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, B.A., courage is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of the team, you know what? If you don't give them a charge, I'd prefer the no call. I like that idea. Now here's Gordon. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's a problem trying to deal with the athleticism of Aaron Gordon. You've got to be more careful as a defender. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. There is some Blake Griffin, a younger Blake Griffin in Aaron Gordon, right? The explosive, ferocious forward takes pleasure in hammering it down. Now here's Anderson, and here's Edwards outside, and it's Denver with a rebound. Caldwell Pope's got five rebounds in the game. From deep three-point range, sinks it! What range from downtown! Caldwell Pope's got his third basket of the night. Outside McDaniels. Now Edwards. He's got five. Now here's Anderson. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Outside Edwards. Clock at six. And stolen by Murray. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his sixth assist of the night. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Now here's Anderson. Pass to Edwards to halt the run. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Denver has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Well, you think back to that Laker 2020 title run. One of the most unsung heroes was Contavious Caldwell Pope. Think about how good he was in the Orlando bubble. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Edwards, such an explosive scorer. You don't want to concede that three-point shot. Boy, that's going to make him feel good. Murray from outside. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got six rebounds here tonight. For KCP in the bubble, he was almost 40% from deep during the playoffs. B.A., Paul 
Caldwell Pope was the third option for those Lakers after Anthony Davis and LeBron James. He knocked down huge shots in the finals against the Heat. KCP earned that 2020 ring. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Minnesota's got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Edwards, a pass to McDaniels. Here's Towns, defended by Gordon. Shot on the wing. Towns, that's good. Towns has got 14. Well, the jumper a major weapon. Towns maintains good form in the face of heavy pressure. Murray passes to Jokic. And here's Murray. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Prince has checked in for the Timberwolves. The free throw drops from Murray. Minnesota's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Moore's checked in. Who poked away. Pass to Gobert. It's McDaniels on the wing. Clock at four. Corner shot. And the jumper falls for him. He's got 13. The Nuggets have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Jokic finds Gordon. Murray with it. Gordon outside. Down low. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No good on the triple. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Now here's Gobert. 14 points for him, last game against Utah. You know, couple that with the four big blocks. He was awesome on the defensive end as well. Pass to Caldwell Pope. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist with that last one. Outside McDaniels. Here's more. Beyond the arc. Sinks it from distance. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. Denver's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Outside Murray. Launches it. And it's Gobert with a rebound. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Moore. Driving in. And it's blocked. And they get it back. Outside McDaniels. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Defended by Gobert. Now here's Porter. Pass to Caldwell Pope. The shot comes out. Good D by Gobert. Minnesota's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Oh, Jokic with the block. Assertive defense from Jokic, using all of his reach to get on top of the shot and deny it. Noel, he's checked in for more. Here's Noel, and it's Denver with a rebound. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And here's Edwards. He's got 11. 
Puts up a three. Great D that time for Murray. For Denver, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Here's Porter. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. And he makes a first. Porter hits them both. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Pass to Noel. Here's Gobert, covered by Jokic. Porter against McDaniels. Here's Edwards. Cashes in the 12-footer. Edwards got 13. Well, if you find yourself in between in that mid-range area, Anthony Edwards so confident. Rise and fire, young sir. Pass to Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets with another miss for Minnesota. They've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. To the inside. Towns. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Mike Conley's checked in for the Timberwolves. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Now here's Jokic. He's got 15. Gets the three to fall. Porter's got five points in the quarter. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Gobert. Here's Conley. Here's the three. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for him. Yeah, I think he can. The shot by Conley. No good. Denver's gone 50% from the perimeter in this second. Shooting four of eight. Here's Jokic. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Forbes has checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. Free throw drops for Jokic. Here's Conley. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Pass to Towns. They need this. Rebound by the Nuggets. Stolen by Conley. And now the T-Wolves on the break. Up and over Porter. Oh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Conley's got his first points of the night. Well, Mike Conley out in transition on the break, eager to help his team convert. Nicely done. Now Porter fires the three. And Conley grabs the miss. Pass to Noel. Drives to the hoop. The kick out to Conley. With the floater. Oh, Jokic with the block. Gordon, the pass to Porter. Here's Noel, defended by Murray. Towns with the ball. Up and over Porter. Shots good by Towns. Towns has got 21. Denver in the lead. Murray for three. No good on the shot. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Towns finds Conley. And he lobs it up top. And Gobert with the stuff. 
Well, spectacular athleticism from the seven-foot center, Gobert. Wow. Outside Porter. Pass to Jokic. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. A different look for Denver. Brown comes in for Porter Jr. And it's Smith in for Jamal Murray. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for Forbes. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. The free throw drops for Jokic. Heating up from the line this quarter, helping their cause for sure. They're right around 80% now. Pass to Alexander Walker. One ten left in the first half. Off the mark with a little step back, Jay. The Nuggets shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. From 11 feet away, drained it for two points. And the Nuggets lead by 11. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Noel, back to Conley. Here's Alexander Walker, right now averaging five and a half a game. Shoots, and that one's good from Conley. Conley's got four points this quarter. And here's Denver. It's Jokic, high post, working on Reed. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Green's checked in for Gordon. What's up? Free throw drops for Jokic. They've been knocked down from the line this quarter. Trying to build out their lead. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Conley against Smith. Conley passes to Towns. Over Green. The shot by Towns. No good. Smith outside. One second left. No good. Misses at the buzzer. Well, Mike Conley has always been elite defensively. 75. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first quarter was all about Nikola Jokic. He ended up with 24 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Nuggets? Ball movement was a real factor for them on offense. They played unselfishly with patience. And guys got shots in their favorite spots. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. Kenny, let's get your insight on the Timberwolves. Well, it's never fun, Ernie. When you're playing against the team, that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by Nikola Jokic. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. 
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Bruce Brown is out there with Green. Then it's Ish Smith. Then it's Zeke Nagy. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. That close end against a way shorter defender, you could just put up two. Free throw drops for Anderson. And Denver has possession. Pass to Najee. And here's Brown. To the left side wing. Buries it down low. And the Nuggets lead by 11. Boy, what great body control you saw there. Laying it up and in despite having the defense draped all over him. Anderson passes to Towns. Over Green. Oh, Green with a block. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Down low. And it's hammered home by Green. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Here's Alexander Walker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Towns. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. So Towns nails them both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Smith passes to Green. And here's Brown. Three-pointer off the mark. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. After just one year in college, Nas Reed declared for the 2019 NBA draft where he was not selected, guys. Another miss by Minnesota. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. And it's good for two. Brown's got his first basket of the night. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And the Timberwolves with possession here. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. Towns for three. Rebounded by Green. And Doris, you got to give credit for how hard Reed worked. Listen, the devastation of going undrafted can make some players hang it up or give up their NBA dreams and go overseas. What you love about Nas Reed is he got back in the lab, he went to work, and consider this, back-to-back -back seasons where he plays in 70 games and is a part-time starter. That, to me, is successful perseverance. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Up. 
but they're doing some good work at the line this half. Here's Brown taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Smith. Inside. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by Smith. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. Back to Alexander Walker. Here's Noel. The three. Gets the three ball to go. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Here's Towns. And another basket for Minnesota. The timing that Towns has is admirable. So fantastic at getting the shot off before a defender can react. To the paint. And he dunks it down. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Pass to Noel. Anderson against Brown. Here's Alexander Walker. Here's Noel. Three-pointer, no good for Denver. They've gone six for nine in the half. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Denver. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. First free throw is good. Conley's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. on both the Nuggets have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half outside Brown to the middle here's Najee and it's flushed down a nice jam and just a great screen and they got a high powered finish out of it and my question is where was the hell someone rotate over and challenge and Minnesota calls time here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Pass to Noel. Now McDaniels. He's guarded by Porter. McDaniels passes to Reed. To the inside. Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Boy, defense has no answer for Anthony Edwards' athleticism. What a dunk. Here's Caldwell Pope. Down low. Soft touch off the glass. Caldwell Pope's got 16 points now. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Murray against Edwards. Pass to Reed. Let's it go from 11. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Good man, the defender really went after him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Gobert is checked in for the Timberwolves.
and so he makes both from the line. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. Here's McDaniels. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. Outside Edwards. Just five on the clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Anthony Edwards is a load to handle as a defender. This guy's got the frame and the skill to make it very difficult. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. You throw good, Edwards. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous in transition. And look out, folks. The upside is there. He does not get the second one. Right side, Porter. Outside, Murray. Over Gobert. And Gobert with a block. Nine foot nine standing reach. Rudy Gobert twice on the pipes. Edwards with it. Checked by Gordon. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Shooting one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Oh, good, Edwards. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Count that one. Gobert's got eight. Boy, what a nice job by Rudy Gobert. Thin frame, yes, but able to take the contact and time still out, finish. Out. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're sending guys to the charity stripe way more than they should be. You'd like to see better positioning defensively. So here is Denver. Naji, good. Six points for him. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. McDaniels passes to Edwards. Gobert with it. Fades and shoots. The rebound by Murray. Throws it up high, and Gordon with the big finish. With all the attention that Murray gets, smart by Jamal to dish it on that play. Edwards, a pass to Anderson. Back to Edwards. 
Let's go with a three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That's his third foul of the game. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. The Nuggets shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the intensity Murray plays with is impressive. Excellent work forcing the issue and drawing the contact. And he can't get the first one. So he can't get either to fall. Minnesota has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Anderson finds McDaniels. Got a hand on it. Ooh, buries it despite the hack. Terrific play. He'll have a chance for one more now. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. for Gobert. Rudy Gobert is known as the stifled tower and why not? He has always been such a strong anchor for his team on the defensive end of the floor. Now here's Porter. 17 points in the game. Outside Murray. Takes a three. Minnesota with a rebound. Anderson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Top Gordon, guarded by Edwards. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Murray's got 10 points in the game. And sometimes it feels like Murray likes taking tough shots. He takes pleasure in devastating defenses. Pass to McDaniels. Takes the three. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds now. Caldwell Pope. Minnesota with a rebound. Anderson with it. He has six. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. Nikola Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Noel, he's checked in for Anderson. Here's Noel. Five points in the game. Ooh, pops the J after a cagey pass fake. Noel's got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Now a timeout called by Denver. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And the Nuggets making a change here. John Char's checked in. Murray passes to Jokic. Here's John Char. McDaniels covering. And they 
there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That's his fifth foul. And that's going to be his fifth, guys. One more and he's done. The Nuggets making a switch here. Here's Gordon. Oh, and Reed with a block. Here's Noel. He has seven. Count it. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. To the paint. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got 18 points in the game. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Pass to McDaniels for three. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Jokic. Good. He's taken 13 shots. He's drained 10 of them. Fantastic production. From second round pick to an absolute star, Jokic can burn you in many ways offensively. Now here's McDaniels. He's got 13. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And yep, it's good. Ten points for him. Minnesota has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Back to Edwards. There's 42 seconds left in the third. And again, it's Minnesota converting. I think his teammates understand that Anthony Edwards has every aspect of his offensive game working, so let's make sure he's got the basketball. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And so it's Minnesota with it. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. down the first one he's perfect from the line this time Edwards against Murray it's McDaniels on the wing. The three. No good that time. And so it's Denver in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for Minnesota. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Jaden McDaniels. Then there's Anthony Edwards. And it's Noel in at the three. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first turnover of the night. 
one of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Here's Noel. Pass to Edwards. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires for three. Fires in the triple. Edwards has got 11 in the second half. Looking to find the rhythm he had in the first half. That's now his fourth three-pointer of the game. Right side Murray from the arc. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. It's on Anthony Edwards. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Alexander Walker's checked in. And for Minnesota, they're shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. The kick out to Edwards. Ooh, stolen by Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, explosive move. Sometimes Murray doesn't get enough credit for his athleticism. Murray against Edwards. Pass to Towns. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Nikola Jokic. Well, beautifully done by Towns, using the up fake to bait the defender. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And so Towns nails them both. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You know, looking at the turnover story, they've had a few miscues along the way, but as we see in the scoreboard, it hasn't hurt them. Here's Noel. Pass to Edwards. Fires from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. Well, Anthony Edwards showing you that I've got some playmaking in my toolbox. Nice pass. Here's Jokic. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. The officials were right on top of that one. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Minnesota's gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Pass to Alexander Walker. Edwards against Murray. Here's Towns. And that one drops for him. 
Towns has gotten four this quarter. Well, we're talking 6'11", 240-plus pounds. Carl Anthony Towns carves out space in the paint. Good night. Murray passes to Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Towns. And that one's good. Towns has got 13 in the second half. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Pass to Jokic. And here's Gordon. McDaniels covering. And that'll be Denver's ball as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets able to keep possession here. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Noel. Murray for three. Tipped. Wow, great defensive play by Anthony Edwards. Engaged on that end of the floor right now. Let's it fly from 18. The shot won't fall. Now Denver takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. And adds a few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to McDaniels. The three is up. And another three for Minnesota. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Now here's Jokic. And here is Porter. Now Jokic. Shot clock at six. Basket's good. And the Nuggets lead by 11. It presents all sorts of problems when Murray's mid-range game is working. It gets the D scrambling. They got to get a body on him everywhere he goes. Jokic passes to Murray. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And Murray, no good on that one. Their lead could be even bigger right now. But their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Denver has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And the Nuggets call time here. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey there, guys. Mike Malone was just reviewing the plan with his team. He said to his players, you may want to get comfortable with this lead, but we can't afford that. That's when we get into trouble. Just keep executing the game plan and trust in one another. As always, Allie, we thank you. Here's Caldwell Pope over McDaniels. Just three to shoot. And it's Jokic missing. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Boy, when you look at Anthony Edwards' frame, it is pro-ready right now. That upper body strength, the ability to play through contact, the end one. Yes, sir. For Denver, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Left side, Murray. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Sinks the tray. Caldwell Pope's got five points now in the quarter. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Outside, McDaniels. From downtown. Another three for Minnesota. 
He's hit four now from behind the arc, two in each half, making an impact. Murray against Edwards. And it's Jokic, that time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got 31 points. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Now here's McDaniels. He's closely guarded. Edwards for three. Knocks down the long J. Edwards got 30. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance this half. Five overall. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Gobert. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. And the second free throw is good. The Timberwolves trail. Conley passes to Edwards. Here's McDaniels from outside the arc. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got eight rebounds in the game. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Pass to Caldwell Pope. From deep. Rebound Minnesota. McDaniels got rebound number five here tonight. And it's rejected. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Porter. Inside. Here's Conley. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Well, fear has never been a problem for Mike Conley if he's near the cup. Nice finish inside. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Back to Jokic. Conley against Murray. Six to shoot. Up and over Conley. The Nuggets with another miss. The Timberwolves shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Towns with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defensively. Anderson against Jokic. Anderson can't get it to go. The Nuggets have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. And denied at the rim. But they call the foul. The whistle blows and we'll see him shoot two from the line. And this, to me, is where Aaron Gordon can excel. This guy embraces contact on the way up. That free throw good from Gordon. And so he's able to get one of two. And here are the Timberwolves. They trail by six. Edwards can't hit. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. Pass to Porter. Over Towns. Porter gets the bucket. Porter's got 19 points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Towns. It's Edwards on the wing. There's the three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Edwards got 33 points. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Gordon outside. Pass to Jokic. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. With his skill set, Jokic draws a lot of fouls. Defenders have to watch out for the pass or the shot. It's a constant guessing game. And he drops the first. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Mike Conley. Jokic drops them both. 
Now here's Edwards. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now McDaniels. Fires the three. Jokic grabs the board. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. It's tipped. Here's Anderson. From down in the low post, it goes. <laughs> they're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Pass to Porter. Porter against McDaniels. Up top, Anderson to the middle. Towns passes to Anderson. Outside Edwards. From seven feet. He's got a piece of it. Murray against Towns. Murray, no good. The Timberwolves shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. McDaniels can't hit. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Outside Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, that was clearly a foul. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Every free throw is crucial in a close game. Nice work at the line. A shot from the mid-range. Denver grabs the miss. Caldwell Pope's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Gordon outside. Pass to Caldwell Pope. On the wing, Porter. McDaniels covering. Five on the clock. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Edwards with it. Checked by Gordon. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Hard work pays off right there. Anthony Edwards finds himself in the paint and draws contact. So the first one drops. And that brings him with an eight. Free throws good for Edwards. Denver's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Gordon outside. Pass to Murray. Now here's Jokic. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Well, at six foot nine, great athlete. Aaron Gordon can be a problem on the glass. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. They're behind by nine. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Edwards. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Prince has checked in for Minnesota. Forbes comes in for Alexander Walker. Here's Towns. No good. Now Denver takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And then Porter with the dunk. Showing us that killer instinct right now. 
No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Now here's Edwards. Here's Prince. Off target with the three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Free throw drops from Murray. And Murray drops them both. Murray against Edwards. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Throw good, Edwards. And both free throws good for Edwards. There's 10 seconds left to play in the fourth. Outside Murray. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. <laughs> All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.